Hi there, welcome back to DSR Ghostwriting on LinkedIn and YouTube. My name is Daniel Rosal. I'm a freelance writer and marketing consultant uh, based in Jerusalem, and I specialize in helping tech companies, tech agencies, and tech entrepreneurs uh, to plan, execute, and develop thought leadership marketing-led campaigns. Um, there's another aspect of the Edelman LinkedIn B2B thought leadership impact study bit of a mouthful uh, report that i want to uh, look into in this video and for reports on other aspects of that very very uh, important overview of thought leadership and how it's being received in the market then feel free to check out my youtube channel for dsr ghostwriting lots and lots of uh, material about that particular report is up there so the metric i want to talk about today is 29 percent 29% is the amount, the percentage of respondents that Edelman and LinkedIn uh, found that answered affirmatively, affirmatively to the statement, um, I derive valuable insights from thought leadership more than half the time, 29%. Now, if you think about that, that means that 71% uh, did not agree with that statement. And that means that there is a quality problem that recipients of thought leadership are not deriving valuable insights only 29 percent of recipients are getting valuable insights from the thought leadership content they receive more than half the time uh, so this really just kind of blends in um, and i think uh, builds upon the other findings in this report uh, which is and i think the central finding in this particular study is that there is a market for thought leadership there is executive mind share out there to be captured uh, unfortunately the producers of thought leadership are not delivering sufficient quality and i think that in many cases they're not delivering actual thought leadership uh, which is why in the videos i've produced and the articles i've written to really encourage uh, my clients to get into this frame of mind that there is a difference between thought leadership and content marketing and if you think thought leadership is just a glorified name for content marketing, then you're going to not actually be producing thought leadership. Thought leadership is about sharing original insights about your industry, uh, about your market, about, uh, about what you do uh, with a target audience, and that can help to open up conversations. And it's not just about promotion. Um, so there is an important difference there. And I think that's this disconnect where only 29% of respondents are saying we're actually getting insights from the stuff you're sending us. Carlery, of course, 71% are not. Hope that video uh, was interesting. And if you're interested in learning more about thought leadership marketing and how DS or ghostwriting, my company uh, can help you produce, plan and execute thought leadership. If you are interested in taking your marketing in that direction, then please feel free to check out my website. That's at dsrghostwriting.com. There is a free newsletter on the site and you can also subscribe to DSR Ghostwriting on YouTube. And you can finally follow the company page on LinkedIn. So there are lots of different avenues if you're interested in learning more about what you can do with thought leadership marketing. Hope this was interesting. Thank you for watching and there will be more videos about thought leadership marketing coming soon.